Hey friends, so I wanted to share a short nighttime fertility yoga routine that you can do just before you turn out the lights and go to sleep. So this sequence is suitable for whatever stage you are in your cycle. If you are looking for specific classes for the different stages of the cycle, I do actually have a full good night fertility series which I'll leave linked below, or you can check out my online yoga circle where you can access all of my premium fertility yoga classes in one place. If you are brand new to fertility yoga, I also have a free guide and I'll leave that one linked down below for you. As you can see, we're going to be practicing on the bed. You don't need a mat, you don't need fancy yoga clothes, your pajamas will do just fine. Let's get going. So let's start just by taking a comfortable seat. So this will look different for everyone. I like to cross my legs. You could have them out in front of you. You could sit up on a pillow if that makes your hips feel a little bit more comfortable. Just do what works for you here. There's really no right or wrong. And we're just gonna start our practice by tuning in and checking in with our body. And a great way to do that is through the breath. This is a nice thing to do just before you head to sleep because often so much of our day is like this whirlwind of activity and a whirlwind of thought, especially when you're trying to conceive. The mind is going a thousand miles a minute thinking about all of the different things, running through all the scenarios, all the planning. And it's really nice just to come back, to be at home in your body, to connect. <sighs> Take that big sigh and let go of your day. So let's just rest the hands in the lap. You might like to close the eyes or you can keep them open, it's up to you. I'm gonna breathe in and out through the nose. So deeply breathe in. And out. I'm using our ujjayi breath. So there's a little bit of throat compression on the exhale just to make that sound almost like a but with the lips closed. Let's do three more deep breaths. Notice any sensations of the body. Any emotions that you might be feeling today, notice them as well. any physical sensations, how is your body feeling today? All right, I just want you to take the shoulders up towards the ears and then roll them back down. We're gonna do a few circles here, inhale and exhale. to make a big circle with the arm, drawing it back, and then the other side, inhale, and exhale. Let's do a little bit of a twist, looking over one shoulder, inhale, and then exhale, let's find the opposite direction. Again, inhale, I want you to stack either the ankles over each other, so that's option one, or if you can, you're going to bring the ankle over the knee. So this creates quite a lot of opening through the hips. And I just want you to gently lean the body forward. So it's a really slight movement. My hips even just here is like, yep, I can feel that. Like I said, if that's too much, cross the ankles instead. But just that gentle opening through the hips helping to increase circulation, but also helping to unlock any emotions that we might be holding in those hips. Just full deep breaths here. And gently lean back. 
Change the cross of the legs so other foot comes on top, even if you're just crossing at the ankles. And then length through the spine, leaning forward slightly just until you can feel that hip. And then deep, full breaths here. This practice really shows to you that yoga doesn't need to be complicated. You don't need any fancy props. It really is just about tuning in with your heart, tuning in with your body, being present in the here and now and moving and living with intention. That really is all that yoga is. Let's do a few circles of joy here. So bring the hands to heart, find length through the spine. Inhale as you lift the elbows. And as you exhale, press the hands away and round through the back. So moving through the spine as well. As we inhale, we find length in the spine, lifting the arms up. And then exhale, just bringing the hands down behind you, drawing the shoulder blades together. And then bring the hands back to heart. We're gonna repeat this a few times. And like I said, with intention, I would like for you to think about your day and I want you to remember and call to mind all of the moments of joy. And now, moments of joy don't have to be big, grand things. It might be the moment when your partner kissed you good morning. It could be your favorite cup of tea sitting in the sun. It could be that you laugh till your belly hurt when you're on the phone to your best friend. These tiny pockets of joy, I want you to recall them in the mind as we move through the circle of joy a few more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. It's almost like you're gathering up those memories and then exhale, surrounding yourself in them and then drawing them into your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, hands back to heart, just let yourself sit with those moments, those memories, those emotions, that feeling of joy they create in the body. hand to heart, one hand to the belly or the womb space, nice and low on that belly. As you breathe in, I want you to fill the belly and then fill the heart. Exhale from the heart, exhale from the belly. So really imagining this connection from womb to heart, heart to womb. I'm going to breathe like this for the next few moments. like to imagine a color or a light connecting these two parts of your body. And allow yourself to infuse it with whatever healing you currently need. Maybe you're healing from a recent treatment or a loss. Maybe you just need to focus on hope and positivity. Whatever is going on for you at the moment, allow yourself to infuse this practice with the intention that you need. Womb to heart, heart to womb.
hands to heart, bow down the head. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. As I said, if you would like some longer, more specific classes for the different stages of the cycle to practice just before bedtime, I'll leave my good night series linked below or you can find them all in my online yoga circle membership. Now is a really beautiful time to do some journaling, to maybe write some things that you are grateful for. Maybe just get off your heart, anything that is worrying you. A nighttime routine like this can be a really great way to improve your fertility because it's going to improve your sleep. If you can start to wind down for sleep, focus on the really positive things that are going on in your world and get off your chest those worries, you're going to have a better night's sleep. It's going to make you healthier, which we know improves your fertility. Thank you again for being here. I look forward to practicing with you soon. Namaste.